right, it's Roger with iGadgetGeek, and I have another video unboxing of a new phone that I've picked up to add to my Android section on my website. It is the Motorola Atrix 4G. It is the world's first dual-core phone. It has a dual 1 gigahertz processor, has 1 gig of RAM. It has 16 gigs of built-in memory, and it's expandable with a micro SD card slot up to 32 gigs. Now, as you can see here, let's go ahead and take a look what all comes with it. We'll get little Mr. Android out of the way. So, of course, here's the box. Pretty straightforward for AT&T. You know, nothing out of the blue there. Now, of course, my one big drawback to this is it's Moto Blur, but we'll cover that here in a little bit. Now, as you can see here, it shows you your Motorola Atrix. And it shows you all the different docks and accessories you can get for this phone. They make a ton of different things. Of course, you have a vehicle dock. You have a wireless keyboard. You have a laptop dock. You have the HD multimedia dock. And a standard dock, which would be, I guess, for like your bedside for charging. Um, now, I'm planning on picking up a few of these accessories. I believe the vehicle dock, probably the multimedia dock, and possibly the laptop dock. Uh, leave me a comment, tell me which one of those you would like to see me review, and I'll see what I can do. Alright, let's go ahead and take it on out of the box and look at it. Now, I have used this for a few days, but one of the real nice things that they include in the box, as you can see here, is the actual HDMI cable. This is the port that plugs into the phone, and then there's your HDMI cable, and it's very long. It gives you a nice, long HDMI cable, which for me big bonus that they include that with the phone you don't have to rush out and buy that accessory then of course you get your USB sync charge cable and your wall plug and pretty much that's about it you get some uh, the normal pamphlets the quick start guide Let's see what else they give you and some other goodies warranty information stuff like that but we're not really concerned with that right now so we'll get that out of the way what we're more concerned with is the phone itself as you can see here it is it is an aluminum back all the way around there's your speaker of course you have a 5 megapixel camera that does record in HD record at 720p 30 frames a second here is your sleep wake button and the fingerprint reader and here is your 30 pin I'm sorry your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the front of it you have a forward-facing camera of course there's your speaker and then right down here see if I can get this to zoom in on it right down there that little bitty slit is the speaker it's right here is the actual hole for the microphone of course there's nothing on the bottom now one of the real nice features about this and I've already got mine set up you press that button to wake it and if you pull your finger across it after you program it it'll unlock the phone so that is a real nice feature there to be able to unlock the phone with the same finger you don't have to actually come down here slide it you know if you slide it here you enter in your little code but you don't have to do that you can just slide your finger across that fingerprint scanner and boom there you're into the phone now, the stock software on this is that horrible Moto Blur, and I've never been a big fan of it. I know a lot of people out there don't like Moto Blur. Some people do. I personally don't. So my way around that is I'm using Launcher Pro Plus Plus. I'm not sure, the, the paid version. Now, let's go ahead and I'll give you a little look through this software here. Now, I have, of course, rooted this phone. And I have Deodox the software. There's several ROMs out there. P pick this one up at XDA Developers. And I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to that website. So if you want to go ahead and change that. Now you can see here this is the Launcher Pro. And you're able to customize everything on that home screen. You know, unlike the Modal Blur, you don't have to live with that Modal Blur. Now even here the drop down menu has been changed. Um, the software really isn't the big thing that this video is going to be talking about. Um, most people are familiar with the Android software. It hasn't, doesn't really change much from handset to handset. Now, one of the real nice things about this Motorola is the display. 
Um, it's got a very high resolution display. It's only about 100 pixels shy in width of being the same display as on the iPhone 4. Uh, so you get a very clean, very crisp looking display. Um, as you can see here, if I'll get it to, to zoom in, it's a very nice display. It's very responsive here on the Launcher Pro. Now, I did notice that the stock Moto Blur tended to be a little laggy on the swipes compared to, let's say, like the uh, Inspire. But once you load this Launcher Pro on there, I found it to be much more user-friendly. Now, too, this has got a dual-core processor in it, one gig of RAM. So what we'll do here is I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, we'll pull up this Quadrant score. Yeah, this Quadrant standard. And we'll go ahead and run a full benchmark, and I'll show you guys here. Now, I don't have a fully-blown custom ROM on here, and it is not overclocked in any way. Uh, basically, the ROM that I've installed, it just tweaked a few things and removed some of the, the bloatware from AT&T. But other than that, it's pretty much stock. So we'll go ahead and let this run through its little thing. It doesn't take very long. See, we're almost done now. We're doing the little DNA strand. So we'll be done here in just a moment. Right, let me go ahead and get my score here. Let's try and get this to zoom in so you guys can see the number. All right, I've got 2785. And that's pretty much almost completely stock Atrix. As you can see, it shows everything else far below its quadrant score. Now, those quadrant scores to me aren't really that impressive. They're not really, to me, it's the use of the phone and the function you get from using it. Now, with some of the tweaks I've done on this, much like all the other Android phones, once you get in there and you root it, you kind of unlock a lot of the stuff that AT&T tries to restrict. Now, all in all, I like this phone. It's uh, been a pretty nice uh, Android phone as far as they go. Now it's a 4 inch screen as opposed to the 4.3 on the Inspire. Um, the Inspire does have a beautifully large screen but I kind of like this 4 inch screen. It's kind of in that sweet spot of screen size to where it's not too big in the hand but you still get a lot of screen real estate. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little comparison video between it and the Inspire and maybe I'll line up all three. The iPhone, the Inspire and the Atrix. Kind of give you a rundown of all three. Now, one of the things that separates this from a lot of other phones is, of course, its dual core processor. It's one gig of RAM. And having the HDMI out, as you can see here, you have an HDMI out right there, and of course, your standard charge sync micro USB right there. Uh, so I'm going to have some more videos coming up on some cases and some other accessories. And as soon as I get some of those docs in, I will do some videos of those as well. Now this has been Roger with iGadgetGeek.